Hello everyone, I welcome you all for a Swiggy tutorials. So in this video, I am going to continue the solution for model question paper 2, which is only for CS stream. And I am discussing in that uh, module 4, so which is of modular arithmetic. So in that I am discussing only question number 7, question number 7a. Find the reminder, find the reminder when 2 power 23 is divided by 47. We can start with a simple number here to find out the reminder of uh, the number called 2 power 23 is divided by 47. So for that I have considered 2 power 10 is equal to uh, what is the value of 2 power 10? It is uh, 1024. 1024 is congruent to 37 mod 47. How to calculate this? Now how to calculate this? 47 divides 1024. How many times it can divide? It can divide 21 times. So the value of uh, 47 into 21 is given by 9987. So if you subtract this, we are going to get the remainder as uh, 37. So this is what I have written here. So that is 2 power 10 is congruent to 37 mod 47. So after uh, having that value raise the power by 2 since I need 2 power 23 since I need 2 power 23 squaring on both the side. So we are going to get 2 power 10 whole power 2 which is congruent to 37 power 2 mod 47. But we have 37 square is congruent to 6 mod 47. Since we know that 37 square is congruent to 6 mod 47. So then by using transitive property that is transitive property says that a is congruent to b mod m uh, b is congruent to c mod m then then we can write this as a is congruent to c mod m c mod m so this is what i have used here a is congruent to b mod m then c uh, b is congruent to c mod n so then i can write this as a is congruent to c mod m that is what i have written here 2 power 20 that is 10 into 2 is gives 20 so 2 power 20 is congruent to 6 mod 47 so also we have 2 cube is congruent to 8 mod 47 so then then again using the property just multiply 2 power 20 into 2 power 3 we are going to get 2 power 23 6 into 8 is how much 48 6 into 8 is 48 mod 47 so but 48 is congruent to 1 mod 47 so therefore we can write that as uh, 2 power 23 is congruent to 1 mod 47 so therefore 1 is the reminder for the given problem now you can write the conclusion 1 is the reminder when 2 power 23 is divided by 47 Moving on to next problem, find the last digit in 7 power 118, 7 power 118. So start from basic value that is 7 square, you know the value of 7 square is 49, 49 is congruent to minus 1 mod 10, minus 1 mod 10 since definitely when I take 49 plus 1 which is equal to 50, 49 plus 1 which is equal to 50. 50 is divisible by 10. So that is what I have done. So therefore, raising the power on both the side by 59, I am going to get 7 square whole power 59 is congruent to minus 1 power 59 mod 10. Minus 1 power 59 is nothing but a negative. Minus 1 power 59 is what? Negative. So which will be a negative value. So therefore, minus 1 is congruent to 9 mod 10. Therefore, we can say that minus 1 is congruent to 9 mod 10. So I can write minus 1. I can write by using the property. I can write minus 1 as what? 9. Replace minus 1 by 9. Therefore, 7 power 118 is congruent to 9 mod 10. Therefore, the remainder that is the last digit of uh, the last digit in uh, 7 power 118 is 9. This is the way to find out the last digit in 7 power 118. Moving on to next problem 7b. Find the solution of the linear congruence 11x is congruent to 4 mod 25. Write down the given problem. 
11x is congruent to 4 mod 25 and name that as equation 1. So, we compare the uh, given problem with the uh, standard uh, problem as uh, ax is congruent to b mod m. Then go with the comparison of the values a is equal to 11, b is equal to 4 and m equal to 25. Therefore, the greatest common divisor of 11 and 25 is 1. Since the common divisor of 11 and 25 is 1 and uh, in that the greatest value is 1. After finding out a GCD of 11 and 25, so therefore equation 1 as unique solution we have that is uh, 25 divides 11x minus 4 when x equal to 14 is a solution. So when it can be divided if and only if the value of x is 14 we can have the solution for the given problem. Therefore the solution is set as x equal to c plus km. So therefore x equal to 14 the value of uh, c is 14 and uh, m value equal to 25 substitute those values. So for what values of k you are going to get the values of x for example a, 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 you are going to get when k equal to 0, you are going to get 14. When k equal to 1, you are going to get 39. Similarly, if you go with negative values, you are going to have these as negative values. When k equal to minus 1, uh, you are going to get minus 11. When k equal to minus 2, you are going to get minus 36. So, therefore, this is the required solution for x. Moving on to 7c. Encrypt the message stop. Stop. Using RSA, it is an algorithm with key 25, 37 and 13 using the prime numbers 43 and 59. So, go with the solution. Let P equal to 43, Q equal to 59 and E equal to 13. This is what they have provided in the problem. Uh, the prime numbers are being denoted by P and Q and uh, here the 13 has been denoted by E. Then N equal to P into Q the uh, smallest value n will be equal to 25, 37. When we multiply 43 and 59, we are going to get uh, n equal to uh, 25, 37. Find out phi of n. Phi of n is given by the formula p minus 1 into q minus 1. 42 into 58 we are going to get. So, mm -hmm. the product of those two numbers will be 24, 36. For encryption, we have a formula c is congruent to m power e mod n. So, we know what is the value of n, we know what is the value of e, uh, 13. So, given e equal to 13 such that the value of 13 will be lying between 1 and 24, 36. Is it right? Since uh, the value of e is 13, this value is lying between 1 and 24, 36. And also 13 and 24, 36, uh, the GCD of this value is 1. So, therefore, we will start with the given problem. Uh, m equal to stop, we are going to consider the stop value by m. So, I will define uh, the alphabets as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to, uh, you know that alphabet containing 26 alphabets you have, but I am starting with 0. So, z will be taking the value as uh, 25 and a will be taking with the value as 0. So, you should know that what will be the value of uh, s, s will be taking 18, uh, t will be taking 19, o, o will be taking 14 p will be taking 15. So, I will be defining uh, two values m1 and m2. m1 will be 18, 19 and m2 will be 14, 15. So, that is what I have defined here m1 and m2. So, consider uh, c1. So, as you know that uh, c in general c is defined as m power e mod n. Now, we have m values two values that is m1 and m2. Replace m by m1 and m2 and c by c1 and c2. So, C1 is congruent to M1 over E mod N. So, you know the value of C1. So, uh, we require to find out. Now, we require to find out the value of C1. So, C1 is congruent to 18, 19, whole power uh, 13, mod 25, 37. So, to find out the value of C1, I will be starting with uh, basic value 18, 19 square is equal to what? 3308761 is congruent to 513 mod 2537. So, rising as I need 18, 19, whole power 13. So, I am going to rise by uh, power by 6 on both the side. I am going to get this uh, congruence. Then, 
then we know that 5 power 13 whole power 6 is congruent to 1779 whole square mod 2537. Now I am going to sim uh, simplify the value 5 power 513 whole power 6 uh, as 513 whole power 6 is congruent to 1779 whole square mod 2537. Also 1779 whole square is equal to is also congruent to 1202 mod 2527. By using the properties we can write a, a 1819 whole power 12 is congruent to 1202 mod 2537. Uh, two this is nothing but I have used a uh, transitive property here. Get to required uh, 1819 whole power 13. So for that reason I am going to multiply by 1819 on both the side. I am going to get uh, the congruence value as well, like this. Then simplifying this value I got uh, 2081 mod 2537. So therefore C1 value is uh, 2081. Similarly let us find out C2 value. Considering uh, C2 as congruent to M2 power E mod N. So C2 will be equal to C2 will be congruent to 14 15 whole power 13 mod 2537. So considering uh, 14 15 whole square is equal to this is equal to not congruence. This is equal to 2002225 is congruent to 532 mod 2537. Rising on both the side by 6, I am going to get uh, the congruence value as like this. Then I am going to simplify this uh, 532 whole power 6. So 532 whole power uh, cube is congruent to 355 five mod 2537. Then 355 five whole square will be congruent to 1712 mod 2537. So finally 1452 whole power 12 is congruent to 1712 mod 2537. This is what uh, by used, uh, I have used here transitive property. So multiplying on both the side by 1415 that is 1415 I am going to get uh, 1415 whole power 13 is congruent to is congruent to 2182 mod 2537. So therefore C2 values 21 8 2. So now I need to encrypt uh, the stop now therefore C is given by C1 into C2 the product of uh, those two constants C1 into C2 so which is equal to 2081 and uh, 2182 so 20 is nothing but what U and 8, 8 is nothing but I and 1 is uh, nothing but B 21 is nothing but V 8 is nothing but I 2 is nothing but C so the encrypt value of a stop is given by u i b v i c u i b v i c so this is the way to solve uh, the problem of encryption by using rs algorithm so if you have any doubts you can put a comment and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thank you all for watching this video